Have you ever wondered if your Ramadan observance is truly accepted by Allah? Ramadan, a pillar of Islam, holds profound significance and it's crucial that our observance resonates with Allah's approval. In the next few minutes we will delve into the five signs Allah may be rejecting your Ramadan. The first sign is a lack of spiritual growth during Ramadan. This holy month is a time for deep reflection and spiritual development. It's a period of increased devotion where we strive to build a closer relationship with Allah. If we find ourselves stagnant, not experiencing any shift or enhancement in our spirituality, this could be a worrying indication that our observance may not be accepted. Remember, Ramadan is a spiritual journey, not just a physical one. The second sign is the persistence of bad habits. Ramadan is a season of change, a time to turn over a new leaf and let go of destructive behaviors. It's a golden opportunity to break free from the chains of harmful habits. So, if you find yourself still clinging to these habits even in this blessed month, it could be an indication that your Ramadan may not be accepted. Ramadan is a chance for self-improvement and transformation, so seize it. The third sign is a lack of empathy. Ramadan, the holy month, is a time for deep reflection, compassion and kindness. If during this period you notice no surge in empathy towards others, particularly those less fortunate, it could signal a rejection. Empathy is not simply about feeling for others, it's about acting on those feelings. It's about sharing meals, giving charity, offering comfort. It's about understanding we are all part of a larger community. Always remember, empathy and kindness are at the heart of Ramadan. The fourth sign is ignoring prayers and the recitation of the Quran. Ramadan is a time of heightened devotion where prayers and the recitation of the Quran form the backbone of our spiritual journey. These practices aren't simply rituals, they are intimate conversations between us and the Divine. They offer guidance and strength. Ignoring these sacred practices could be a sign that your Ramadan isn't being accepted. Let the Quran be your guide throughout Ramadan. It's our compass leading us towards growth, empathy and a deeper understanding of our faith. The fifth sign is neglecting duties and responsibilities. Ramadan is a time for spiritual growth, not an escape from the world around us. Our worldly duties and responsibilities remain crucial. If you find yourself using Ramadan as an excuse to neglect these duties, this could be a sign of rejection. Remember, Ramadan is about balance. Balancing your worldly duties with your spiritual ones is vital. So, let's strive to maintain this equilibrium. Balance is key in Ramadan. Fulfill your duties alongside your spiritual commitments. These are the five signs that Allah may be rejecting your Ramadan. From spiritual stagnation to neglecting duties, it's crucial to remain vigilant. Let's strive to better ourselves, fostering empathy, breaking bad habits, and keeping our <laughs> prayers consistent. May Allah accept all our efforts during Ramadan. Amen.